here in the i button and in description box below you will get complete playlist of Fourier transform welcome to video number 28 and in this video we are going to solve third problem on the topic that is application part of Fourier transform so before i start this video i would request you to subscribe to my channel and if you learn something from my videos then please hit the like button and do share the playlist of Fourier transform with your, with your friends if you are doing this you are supporting me and i really need your support so let us start solving this third problem on the topic that is application part of Fourier transform. The question says solve the equation that is del u upon del t equals to del square u upon del x square if del u upon del x okay, is 0 when x equal to 0. Okay? u is a function of x and t. u is a function of x and t and here 0 is written. It means at x equal to 0 del u upon del x becomes 0 okay? for t more than 0. Okay? Second condition given is u, okay, u, x comma 0, x comma 0, x is a function of x and t, u is a function of x and t, and here 0 is written, it means at t equal to 0, u is x, okay, at t equal to 0, u is x, when the range of x is from 0 to 1, okay, and at t equal to 0, u becomes 0, when the value of x, when the range of x is from 1 to infinity, okay, and the third condition is, u okay u which is a function of x and t is bounded okay is bounded for x equal to okay x more than 0 and t greater than 0 okay three, th these three conditions are given and we need to solve this equation that is del u upon del t equals to del square u upon del x square okay now here in this problem this part is given here you can see this part is given that is del u upon del x is given as 0 when x equal to 0 okay if you have gone through my video number 25 there i have discussed this part if del u upon del x is given okay at x equal to 0 in that case we are going to use Fourier cosine transform okay Fourier cosine transform so let us start solving this problem here in this problem we have given this equation that is del u upon del t equals to del square upon del x square del, u, del square u upon del x square in this problem we have u which is a function of x and t and here this part is given that is del u upon del x is given as 0 at x equal to 0 okay since this is given so we are going to apply Fourier cosine transform on both the sides okay for this equation so this will be Fourier cosine transform of del u upon del t equals to Fourier cosine transform of del square u upon del x square now you must know this formula okay the formula for Fourier cosine transform del square u upon del x square is minus of del u upon del x at x equal to 0 minus s square for a percent transform of u okay so simply put this formula over here okay so this can be written as d upon dt of for the cosine transform of u okay this can be written as for the cosine transform of u equals to yes this part okay because this is what this so minus of del u upon del x at x equal to 0 minus s square for the cosine transform of u okay now here you can see that is this value becomes 0 okay at x equal to 0 del u upon del x will become 0 so we can say that is this is 0 okay so this becomes this now Fourier cosine transform of u can be written as u bar of c okay so this is d upon dt of u bar of c okay yes here you can see one thing which is very 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 important u is a function of x and t okay but here u bar okay u bar is a function of s and t okay u bar is a function of s and t so you need to remember this point okay and this equals to minus of s square into fc u can be written as u bar of c so this is u bar of c okay so now we are applying separation variable so this will come here and this will come here so d of u <coughs> d of u bar c upon u bar of c okay equals to minus of s square dt okay now after applying separation variable my next step is to integrate both sides okay so on integrating this side you will get log of u bar okay you will get this part okay that is u, log of u bar c okay log of u bar of c okay equals to this part will become minus of s square t and we have a constant okay that is log c because of this log we have log c now simply take this log here so this will become log a minus log b that is log a upon b okay so log a upon b that is log u bar of c okay u bar c upon c okay yes equals to minus of s square minus of s square t now if you take this log here this will become u bar c equal u bar c upon c equals to e to the power minus of s square t now if you take this c here you will get u bar c equals to 
u bar c equals to c into e to power minus of s square t. So finally we can say u bar c, okay, u bar c which is a function of s and t is equals to c into e to power minus of s square t. Now we need to find what is the value of c, okay. To find the value of c we will put t equal to 0, okay. We will put t equal to 0. So this is going to be u bar c s comma 0, okay. Here the value of t is how much? 0. Now if you put t 0, okay, t equal to 0, this whole part will become 0. So e to power 0 will become 1. So c into 1 will become c, okay. So on putting t equal to 0, u bar of c will at s, okay, at t equal to 0 will become c. And let's suppose this is my equation bar 2, okay. Now we know that is from general formula of Fourier cosine transform. We have this formula, okay, that is for the cosine transform of s equals to integration 0 to infinity f of x into cos sx dx okay this is what this is u bar of c okay which is a function of s and t this equals to integration 0 to infinity this is what u okay u is a function of x and t u is a function of x and t this part is as it is that is cos sx okay dx now we will put now if you want to make this as this you need to put t equal to 0 okay and after that we will equate and we will get the value of c okay on putting t equal to 0 you will get u bar of c s comma 0 okay here we have here we had s comma t but since t equal to 0 so i need to write here 0 this is equals to integration 0 to infinity u is a function of x and t and here t is 0 so u x comma 0 cos sx dx okay now this uh, limit that is 0 to infinity can be divided into 0 to 1 and 1 to infinity okay now here we need to see yes u okay here you can see the function is u x comma 0 that is at t equal to 0 what is u so here again you can see u x comma 0 that is at t equal to 0 u becomes x when the limit of x is from 0 to 1 and this u at t equal to 0 becomes 0 u becomes 0 at t equal to 0 when x is from 1 to infinity okay so we are going to use this so simply apply this that is integration when the limit is from 0 to 1 in that case what is function u that is okay u will become x rest is same that is cos sx dx and plus integration when the limit is from 1 to infinity in that case u will become 0 so this whole part will become 0 so simply solve this part by using chain rule okay this as my first function this as my second function as per eyelet rule okay so first function integration of second function integration of cos will become sin sx upon uh, coefficient of x that is s okay first function uh, first term positive second term negative okay now differentiation this will become one now integration this will become integration of sin will become minus cos so minus cos sx upon s and here already we had s so this will become s square again the limit is from 0 to 1 okay so now this is as it is that is u bar of c at t equal to 0 now simply put okay yes if you arrange this if you open this bracket you will get x into sin sx upon s plus negative negative become positive cos sx upon s square limit is from 0 to 1 now if you put limit okay if you put upper limit here this will become cos s upon s sorry sin if you put upper limit here in place of x this will become this will become sin s upon s if you put lower limit here this will become zero okay similarly if you put upper limit here this will become cos s upon s square now if you put lower limit okay that is cos zero will become one okay upper limit positive lower limit negative that is one upon s square okay so finally we can say that is at t equal to zero u bar of c okay u bar of c s comma zero will become sin s upon s plus cos s upon s square minus one upon s square okay let's suppose this is my equation number three okay now equating equation number two and three what is equation number two yes u bar of c okay u bar of c s comma zero equal to c and here in equation number three we have u bar of c s comma zero equals to this part okay that is sin s upon s plus cos s upon s square okay minus one upon s square okay now if you combine both that is from equation number 2 and 3 we can say that is c equals to sin s upon s plus cos s upon s square minus 1 upon s square now putting the value of c in equation number 1 what is equation number 1 this is my equation number 1 okay that is u bar c okay s comma t u bar is a function of s comma t this equals to c into e to the power minus s square t this is equation number 1 and we have the value of c so putting the value of c in equation number 1 we get this part that is from equation one we can say u bar c which is a function of s comma t equals to equals to c into e to the power minus s square t okay now since we have this formula okay this that is u bar of c 
that is Fourier cosine transform. Now we will apply inversion theorem. That is we will apply inverse Fourier cosine transform to find the value of u. Okay, u which is a function of x and t. So from inversion formula or, or you can say inversion theorem we have f of x equals to 2 upon pi integration 0 to infinity fc of s cos sx okay dx. Now what is u uh, f of x that is u which is a function of x and t this equals to 2 upon pi integration 0 to infinity okay 0 to infinity what is this that is u bar of c s comma t u bar of c is a function of s and t into cos sx ds okay now this part is as it is that is we are finding this that is u which is a function of x and t this equals to 2 upon pi integration 0 to infinity what is this part we have this that is okay this whole part sin s upon s plus cos s upon s square minus 1 upon s square into this part that is e to the power minus s square t into this part that is cos s x ds and this is my final answer okay thank you thank you so much